People around the world honoring Arnold Palmer. He passed away yesterday in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. He was 87 years old. Palmer won seven major championships, 62 wins on the PGA Tour, 92 golf titles around the world. Palmer will be celebrated for his golf career, but those who knew him will celebrate the man he was off the course. Jennifer's Krista Moyer spoke to a local historian who knew the golfing legend. Uh, because of his uh, striking good looks and his, and his physique and his swashbuckling style of golf, that uh, every woman wants to be near him and every man wants to be him. World Golf Hall of Fame historian Dr. Tony Parker says it was Arnold Palmer's ever-present smile and his connection to fans that made him an icon. And he would spend hours with his fans after a round of golf, just signing autographs, spending time with them. He draws you in with his eye. He looks at you and he talks to you. And you feel like you're the only person in the world. Palmer burst onto the scene as a professional in 1954 and would soon become one of the world's best golfers. Winning more than 150 tournaments, he would earn the title of the king. He had an unorthodox swing, finished at the top with a little swirl, uh, but his massive power. In 1974, he would be an inaugural member inducted into the World Golf Hall of Fame in St. Augustine. The museum still holds many items he used throughout his career, including the small ball he used to win the Open Championship in Royal Birkdale in 1961. You can see, compared to the regulation U.S. ball, it's about .06 inches smaller. They've also displayed his club and glove he used in that tournament. The World Golf Village became his second home. He and Jack Nicholas designed designed the King and Bear course on its campus. Palmer would frequent the course and served on the World Golf Hall of Fame Selection Committee. Arnold Palmer can walk on the grounds and everybody knows he's here. The King has arrived. He was also a trailblazer for television golf and would later become the founder of the Golf Channel. On top of that, he gave back, raising money to renovate a pediatric hospital named after him in Orlando. Very humble, very appreciative. He was the greatest ambassador for the game of golf in the world. There'll never be another like him. Crystal Moyer, Channel 4, The Local Station.